talk you through how to take an old Acer Aspire 1 that's slow and out of warranty and re-image it using the elementary operating system. First thing you need to do is turn it on and push F2. Now F2 is going to take you into the BIOS settings. It might be password protected so you need to enter the password and then it'll take you to the BIOS settings. The next step would be to go into your boot sequence and make sure that the USB that's plugged into your computer is moved to the top of the list. So you push F6 to move it all the way to the top and then the hard drive can be set at the second position. Then click exit and save and this will allow the computer to boot directly from the USB drive. Alright, now the splash page is loaded so the next thing you would do is click on install elementary then connect your laptop to the wireless network and push continue. Now that it's connected to the internet, select both download updates and install third party graphics and software. Then push continue. The next step will request whether or not you want to install dual boot or just erase the disk. Personally for reliability I'd click on erase the disk and install elementary then click install now. Next, click Continue. You can click on the map to select the geographic location where you are, and then click Continue. Select English US, Continue, or whichever language it works best with you. On this page, you need to set your own name. The computer name will automatically generate, and set a username and a password. Most importantly, click Login automatically so that students won't be prompted to enter usernames and passwords when they're using the public computer. Once this page is done, then click Continue. And that's it. When Elementary is finished installing the operating system, it'll prompt you to shut down the device, remove the USB, and then push Enter. The next thing you may want to do is click on Applications in the top left-hand corner once the image is loaded, and then type in the following script in the terminal. This script will allow you to download the Chromium web browser and you can use it to replace the current web browser in the image. There are three lines of code and I'm going to walk you through each one. So just follow the prompts in the terminal as you're entering the three lines of code and when everything is finished you would click yes, push enter and then Chrome, the Chromium web browser will be downloaded. Then type the word exit and you can leave the terminal. Next thing you would do, you may see some key ring pop-ups. You can click cancel on those or you can enter the password that you entered when you created the image. Following that, go back to Applications, grab the Chrome web browser that you have downloaded and drag it onto the desktop, and then remove the other browser from the, the dock location. Then open up the Chrome browser and you can test it. You'll see that this Chrome browser will actually play Flash, and it plays pretty well too. I recommend setting it as your desktop default. And that's it. I've added the current Flash update, especially if you need to use this device for running special programs like Dreambox.